Wendell's The Oz Gunners Collective, back at it like a smack at it. And as you can tell by today's thumbnail, man, we're going to get straight into it. The clapback's going to be realer than real. You know what I mean? There's two sides to every story, and this over here is the real side. So without further ado, man, I'm going to introduce a man that really needs no introduction. One, Mr. Phantom, the Isa Fresno Bulldogs. And I'm going to let him go ahead and speak his on his behalf and let it be known what's really going on with this character, Snoop. Anyways, how's it going, uh, Mr. Phantom? I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? Man, I'm just living, brother. So, uh, yeah, I, I know uh, I know you stayed tuned in and turned up, man. And I know that you heard uh, this frivolous wordplay by this guy, uh, uh, a badass Snoop, like he likes to call himself. Uh, so what's going on with that, brother? I know you did some time in Preston and YA, man. I'll let you speak on your story, man. You're half of what, what really went on, man. Okay, yeah, yes, I did. I did do, I did do time with him uh, in Preston. And I met up with him on several occasions. You know, we were in Chamberac together, you know. And uh, he, like I said, he's got a heart of a lion, right? But he can't fight. The people that were locked up with him know that. You know, uh, so I'm not going to take anything away from him. But uh, he didn't whoop my ass. And I'm sure he knows it. I'm sure everybody else knows it. You know, uh, when we were coming back from visiting, my visit was still going. That's the first time I got to see my uh, my daughter. First time I got to hold her. You know, I cut my visit short just so I could meet up with that cat. He didn't he didn't do the slow down. You know, he didn't do any of that. I'm the one that sped up to him, and I'm the one that called him in the blind spot. He knows that. I mean, he ain't gonna admit it, but he knows that. And that's how it went down. And I was whooping his ass, and then he got out of the blind spot. He started walking back to the compa. And I told him, come on back here, fool. But he kept going, cussing me out until we got to the compa. That's how it happened. And his homeboy boxer, the one from Fresno, yeah, I whooped his ass too. Because of the same thing. Yeah, no. Yeah, like like I tell everyone, man, there's two sides to every story and and it seems like lately, man, he's been putting his uh his truth out there, what he believes to be his truth, right? And and just like you said, man, nothing against the man. He's doing what he does. He has his own movement, but at the same time, man, it's always good to hear both sides of the story. So so what's been going what's been going on with you lately, brother, man? We've been trying to tap in and and get a hold of one another, but man, you know, it's a hard thing. And uh I just wanted to see what was going on, man. You know, back in them days, you know, I was also in, in the California Youth Authority, man, so uh, around the time of the split, when the split happened. And so it was on a cracking over there, especially in Preston, Nellis. Uh, how was it for you, bro, besides this Snoop character? How was it going on with the Norteños over there, you know? Where? Here? Uh, right now? No, no, not right now. Like in Preston and back in them days in Nellis and, I mean, uh, Preston and YA. And, you know, during the split between the Bulldogs and the Norteños, man, it was cracking, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I remember that. I was there. I was there in 1991. That's when uh, me, Sneaky, Cisco, uh, Snorky, we all let North to go in 1991. You know, in YA, just on. That's when I remember it. You know, and it took slowly, you know, because uh, some of the homeboys, you know, were double sided. They didn't hear from their uncles or Dad yet. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. They're hearing from them little by little, you know, so until they got word from them, that's when they started rolling also. But uh, for me, that's when it happened in 1991. Yeah, absolutely, man. I remember them days. Them days were crazy. Those, those That was real gladiator days right there. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, with this end of hostilities going on between the North and the South, and I know the Bulldogs, man, are standing their ground as far as not participating in it. What have you heard? What's going down, man? Because uh, there's a lot of misconceptions, a lot of different stories of, you know, the, at first the Bulldogs were involved in it, then they weren't. You know, what's your take on that, bro? Well, well when I was in Corcoran in the shoe, that's when we were involved in it. You know, when we were involved in it, it had to do with... Uh, Indian solitary confinement. That's what it had to do with. It didn't have to do with the end of hostility. It had to do with end of solitary confinement. But until up until they started passing paperwork around, so once they started doing that, 
we had to back up. You know, we couldn't put our put our names on paper. That's political. We're not. We don't get involved in that. We can't speak for all the other homeboys. So we backed up off of it. Yeah, you know, when man. it comes to us programming with everybody, I mean, we'll program with anybody, you know, on both sides. So, you know, that's, that's where it stands there. You know, there's active active uh, bulldogs in Salinas Valley, like you said, and there's active uh, bulldogs in Corcoran. Absolutely. You know, all bulldogs communicate with each other, you know. Yeah, yeah. I myself, man, I myself have always had a lot of respect for the Bulldogs just based on the way that the Vatos have always carried themselves. And I've told people, man, you know, in my experience, Bulldogs have always been about their business, man. Regardless of, of any separation or whatever people may think or bias, you know, the Bulldogs have always been with the business. I once said in a spill, man, there's something in the water out there in Fresno because Vatos know how to fight out there, you know. Uh, you know, right. I got, yeah, That's I, all we learned through a fighting. Oh, absolutely, man. I, I got a, a lot of history with Vatos like uh, uh, Cisco Aguilar and, and Marcos Terrones and, and uh, you know, me and a lot of the homies, we've discussed it, K-9 de Fresno. Just, just you know, the list can go on and on. You know, you yeah. Vatos are numerous in numbers. Um, so what's going on with you, brother? I know I know where you sit, man. I know where you stand. But, uh, uh, you know, basically, you know, how's, how's your days progressing in there, bro? Are you, are you keeping your mind stimulated? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I stay busy. You know, I go, I work out, I write, read here and there. You know, I just try to stay busy, try to keep my mind off negative things and concentrate on positive things. You know, um, exactly, man. Exactly. Same thing you did when you were locked up. Oh, man, you know, <laughs> a whole lot of reading, essays, and, and, and food checks. Hey, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, no doubt about it, man, no doubt about it. Hey, what's up with, uh, so what's going on with, um, with, uh, all this YouTube stuff? I know you, I know you listen in, man, and I know you hear, you know, your names out there and, and all this YouTube stuff that's been going on, man, you know, with this guy Snoop, uh, uh, speaking on everyone and everything. I mean, how do you look at it? Do you see it as just frivolous wordplay and just a whole lot of propaganda? Do you see it as guys trying to really, you know, push an agenda out there, man? Well, I mean, uh, every, I guess every channel's different, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Some people, I mean, they push their stories out there too for you know uh, for. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You know, some people, you know, I absolutely try to help other people. You know, push positive, uh, you know, positive things out there. You know, my main thing was to try to do was you know to, you know, to give a, a statement out to the kids out there. You know, I mean, to stir them from coming up places like this you know that's originally one of the reasons why i started doing it in the first place you know? exactly man yeah you know, that try, you know try to help out you know what i mean because you know, exactly shit ain't kid. It should, you know give them a different turnaround you know what i mean no absolutely bro this right here on my channel bro i try to you know i'm all about uniting the raza uh Irregardless of the politics behind, you know, what's going on behind them walls. And of course, you're going to stick to your, your dog paws on me and do what you have to do. It's just been like that. It's going to continue to be like that. But I'm all about, you know, uh, uh, the people pushing forward, bro, and trying to just break down them barriers. Um, but like you said, man, every channel is different to each their own. They're going to push their agenda. It is what it is. Um, I just like felt like if for no other reason, man, I should just extend my hand to you. Reach out because I've been trying to reach out. But, uh, you know, when I heard this Snoop stuff, I automatically, man, I knew that you had to, you know, be able to put your story, get a platform to put your story out there on your side because I already knew, man, something was fishy in the air. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that fool's got heart, though. You know what I mean? I, I don't take that away from him. You know, he'll fight with anybody, but he just, he just always lost. You know? Yeah, That's most thing. definitely. I was in OH with him, too. Is you that know, right? I was in no way close, but yeah, I was in El Dorado. I was the only being uh, like three of the homeboys. We were in El Dorado Hall, and all the rest of the homeboys were in, um, you know, uh, El Norte and Calaveras. That's what the majority of the homies were. But I was in, I was in the only building with Southsiders. Mm. So I'm the only one. We were the only one getting down with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, he did run out of the classroom on one, you know what I mean? But he got his ass whooped. 
Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. And all, like I said, he just couldn't fight. You know what I mean? But he's got heart. Yeah, I've always told everyone, man, that 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 no doubt about it, man. Snoop will will get him up and will handle his business with anyone. But at the same time, man, you know, every every man takes an L, every, you know, in their lifetime. Uh, so yeah, so like, uh, I know that there was a lot going on, man. Like I said, with the split, when the Bulldog split, man. Um, one of the guys that I have an extensive history with, man, that is actually a good friend of mine now, is a uh, Dreamer that Corco Bulldogs. Did you ever hear about him or run into him? A uh, dream, dreamer from Corcoran Bulldogs. Not off, the, not, off the tip, not off the top of my head. Yeah, man, he was a good volatile man. How about uh, Bubba's from the North Side? Yeah, yeah, he's a good dude. See, these were all individuals, man. Uh, and I spoke on it a while back, man. Um, that when I was in Nellis, man, these perros, they all, man, like I said, man, they were all vicious with vicious intentions. They actually got into some type of altercation. Something happened back there in the oil, man, where they booked uh, Dopey from uh, the east side and uh, put him in the wheelchair, right? And uh, I just remember, man, yeah. the perros at that time, man, they were on, they were kind of doing their own thing. And then as we got up north, man, they started to function with the Southsiders for a little bit. And I was going to ask you about that. What was the, the whole reasoning behind that, man? Um because for a while there, maybe a year, a little less than a year, man, the Bulldogs were clicked up. This was back in, I'd say, 93, 94. They were clicked up with the Southsiders just for a minute or two, you know? Yeah, we weren't clicked up with them. Yeah. But uh, we had we wanted to show the administration that we were no longer with the North. Okay. You know, so in YA, I specifically was the first dog to fill up with a Southsider in YA. Okay. For that, they called me to the to the uh, communication center, and they asked me. They're like, "Look, we can't sell you up in no south side. You know what I mean?" I go, "Look, you know, you need to, you can sell me up in the south side because that's the only cell I'm going into. You know what I mean?" Oh, so yeah. me and the south sider agreed to sell up. They pulled us out first. Let's talk, you know. And I let them know how it was what our homeboys were doing in the prison. Yeah. You know, his name was Bullet. That's right. You know, from uh, Bacuema. Baca. That was my first selling to the South Side. Yeah. You know, but we did that just to show that we were no longer with the North, period. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. I remember them yeah, so days. My, yeah, that was my, uh, you know, take on my role. Anyway, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I remember uh, hearing your name. Your name was ringing bells in there, bro. And, and you were one of the ones that were, uh, that I won't say pushing that agenda, but basically, basically was letting your homeboys know what time it was, you know? And yeah. Putting them on that path, you know, that yeah. which was the right path. Hey, anyways, bro, I ate. Right. Well, yeah, we were, the ones that were there with me, their dads, you know, like I said, before the ones who started everything. So we all knew what time it was. Absolutely. At that time. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Man, well, yeah. hey, I appreciate you coming on here, bro, clearing the air, man, about about Snoop and, and certain situations. Phantom, man, I know uh, we'll do this again, bro. I know you'll tap in again. You're uh, only allowed yeah. at a certain time. Yeah, know? we will. And uh, yeah, I'll, call, I'll call you again. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Gracias. I appreciate you, my brother. Okay. All right, now. Hey. Hey, take care, huh? Hey, you as well, brother. You as well. Nice meeting you. Likewise. And that right there was Mr. Phantom, the Isa Fresno Bulldogs, right? Just putting his little spill and his little take on what was going on uh, in the Snoop situation and, and, you know, what happened on his side. Um, like I said, there's two sides to every story. San Quentin, San Quentin, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Hello? Hey, what's up, Phantom? This is Gunner. Oh, what's up, my dog? That's right, hey, what's man. up, Gunner? Oh, man, we're back at it like All a right, smack huh? at it. That's right, man. A, uh... So let's continue this, uh, this question, these questions, bro. So I was just chopping it up with the homeboy and, uh, 
man, we were talking about some perros, some dogs, man, some some well-known dogs that were locked up, you know, in our times back in the Y days. And I know you came in just a little bit before us, you know, in the 80s. But uh, I know in the 90s, man, it was rocking, man. And 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 I have a, an extensive history with a lot of authors, like I said, like Cisco Aguilar, uh, Spell, um, a black homeboy, Charles Perry, man, uh, uh, Chucky from Fresno. A lot of these guys, man, they held it down. You know, they held it down whenever you put out that dictation, basically, for the split. There was a lot of authors that were with it, you know. And uh, yeah. it was just a cold game, you know. But I, I want to kind of take it back, man. That was just a, a walk down memory lane. I wanted to take it back to when this stuff really happened. Because there's a big misconception, man, with the with the homie Crackers. That Crackers was behind this whole thing, man. But I've been hearing a lot of different stories, bro. Maybe you can elaborate and, t and tell the real story of what happened, why the dogs did what they did, you know. Yeah, well, I know some people say that, uh, that no, he wasn't, and some people say yes, he was. You know, that's why I put up that, uh, you know, sitting home by that picture so you can put it up. You know, with that dog tattooed on him, right? And you can see that dog tattoo is not a, it's not a new tattoo, it's a very old tattoo. You can tell that he's been in it for a long time, you know. So, Crackers was one of the originators. You know, happened here in San Quentin. Yeah, absolutely. along with uh, along with Cisco Aguilar's dad, Dick Anika, along with uh, Ernie Salinas's dad, Bueno Salinas. Okay. They were, they were all here, you know. Yeah. And those are the those are the those are the kids that I grew up with. Those are the ones that are my age. Little Ernie Salinas, Cisco Aguilar. Anthony Aguilar, those are the ones I grew up with as kids. I played freeze tag with them. Yeah. Those are my day ones right there. Yeah. yeah. Along with Little Ray, Little Ray Estrada. Yeah. You know, his dad, Gil. Uh, Kiwi, Kiwi Dorte. His uncles, Kabuki, Boyle. They were all involved. Yeah, man. So those, those are the ones yeah absolutely yeah there was a big familia man that i i had the uh that i had the privilege of meeting bro uh a whole bunch of primos and brothers i don't know if you've ever ran across them but we're talking about like lt dog nuns little legs little Inez sosa um oh the legs uh lt was here too you know big lt yeah his son little lt lorenzo torino yes sir you know mm-hmm they're, they're cousins, nuns, Rudy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. They yeah. all grew up and, you know, they got hands for days. Yeah. Oh, no, definitely, bro. They, def you, they definitely were with the business, you know? Definitely. When you grow up, they got hands. You got to have hands, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I tell everyone, man, Fresno out there, man, Fresno's with the business, man. Uh, no one could deny that. Like I said, every Vato I done ever ran into from top to bottom had some type of hands, right? And uh, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, um, so what's been going on, bro, with like, uh, I see that, you know, the administration, man, I was tapping in with one of the homeboys. He's actually on the line. I know it's a little bit different for you being on death row, bro, but... Um, that these placas are starting to wear body cams and things of that nature, bro. They're implementing everything by the dom. You know, have you heard anything about that? They're starting to what? They're starting to wear body cams and shit, bro. Like, they're, you know, they're having the placas on these four yards on these 180s are starting to wear body cams, like body cameras. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I, I, not here. Not okay. there yet. They put cameras in. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Yeah, I see yeah, that. Bill, like, uh, the blockers don't want body cameras here. Not yet, you know, anyways, but uh, yeah, they do got cameras in the buildings in certain places. That's right. Yeah, they. Uh, I was chopping it up with the homeboy that's in Kern Valley on a 180, and he was telling me that we were actually uh, chopping it up when he, when he seen the first blocker wearing a body cam. I guess cops are going on strike, and all kinds of things are happening behind it, but uh, I was just wondering if you heard anything along those lines. Now, as far as... um. As far as, man, uh, Bulldog Business, man, you guys have always been a very independent group, bro, a very independent faction, and uh, I've always liked that, bro. I've always liked that, admired that about the admired that about the Bulldogs because, 
I mean, you guys don't answer to no one, but I see, but it seems lately talking to a lot of different federals, there is some type of structure to your guys' madness, bro. Meaning, of course, you guys are all on the same page, so there has to be some type of, of structure. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if you want to elaborate on that, but I, I know that you guys all have a, a, a voice in the matter, but I've just noticed that, bro. That, you know, you guys show a lot of love to the to the veteranos, but at the same time, man, you guys are a very independent group, you know? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We're, you know, we're more family-orientated, you know, because we all know each other. You know, we all grew up with each other somehow, some way, so we're all connected. If, if you, you know, if that makes sense. No, perfect, yeah, it makes, you know, makes perfect sense, bro. Yeah, I mean, we all know each other, you know, he is. I either know your uncle, your cousin, your brother, your dad, your kid. I know somebody that knows you, or I know you. You know, so we all know each other. Yeah. Somehow, some way. Now, as you know, uh, hey, as far as being ahead. as far as being on death row, Phantom. Uh, I know there's a couple uh, uh NF members that are on death row, man. I know uh uh one Mr. Uh, Huevo Trujique, as well as um. As well as a uh, uh, silent Bobby Silent Lopez are on death row. Do you have you had interactions with them, or have you ran into them or anything? No, I know who they are, but uh, I can't. You know, I'm not gonna speak on their business. Exactly, you know? they do you that. Know what I mean? No, yeah, absolutely. I, know, I do know who they are. Absolutely, you know? yeah, yeah. I do know who they are. I've talked to them. I All know right. They, I know who they are. I know absolutely who they are. Yeah, man. You I know? I know death row is a little bit different. You know, um. The way I always was when I was locked up, and I'm sure you could agree, bro, that when you're back there in the oil, of course, you're all, if you know if the door cracks, then you're going to let the bell be the reason um, right off the top. Um, but at the same time, you know, everyone's back there going through the same struggle. So uh, it ain't nothing to, you know, shoot someone some coffee or something every once in a while, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, prison is prison, you know? So some things never change. Most definitely, bro. Most definitely. Yeah, man. I'm just, hey, it's an honor to be able to talk to you, bro, and, and to, you know, pick your brain, bro, because <clears throat> like I said, man, your name's been ringing bells for a lot of years. And, and a lot of these youngsters nowadays, man, they just don't know, you know, or they just don't respect the old school or know uh, 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 the, the, you know, the bricks that you had to lay in the foundation to pave the way for what they're put having in their mouth nowadays. How do you feel about this new generation, bro? They're out there just clapping everyone. There's no more fist fights. It's kill people broad daylight just for views. I mean, what do you think about this, bro? I, m I remember back, you know, back in our days, bro. It was it was a it was more of a respect thing. And I mean, we're gonna get off where we're mad at, but at the same time, man, these kids are taking it to a whole new level. W what's your take on that, bro? Um, shit. Well, you know, I mean, when I was a kid, nobody could tell me shit. You know, so I mean, that's how the kids are now. <laughs> you know what I mean? You yeah. know, I mean, it's messed up. It is. Because I don't like how, you know, my town. I mean, I don't like how it's different people going at it with each other. And, you know, I, I don't like any of that. You know, I don't agree with drive by shootings. I mean, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of things I don't agree with. You know, but at the same time, you know, like I said, uh, it's hard to tell somebody what to do. Yeah. When you've actually done it yourself. Exactly, man. Yeah, I uh, I try to keep my things more raza orientated, man. And and a while back in Fresno, uh, we had like a ilotero, you know, uh, uh, get uh, get executed out there in Fresno, man. And and I felt some type of way about it. I did a spill, man. And I've been noticing that in Fresno, man, it, it seems to be happening more than anywhere else, bro. Where uh, uh, the Mexicanos, it seems like everyone's. You know, a certain group is is pinpointing or targeting them, man. How do you feel, you know, out there in the Fresno streets? Do you feel like like they should be protected or just every man for himself, bro? Well, no, I mean, like I said, I don't agree with it. I lost three homeboys in one day. You know, I think mean, <laughs> that's how it is. You know, it's messed up. You know, and I don't trust me, God. Yeah, I hear you. It pisses me off. No, absolutely. That's not, that's not what Bulldog, that's not what it started for. Yeah. It started for all of us to be together, not for all of us to make certain fucking streets. You know, but, uh, yeah. 
most no, most no, definitely. You got, bro. you got all kinds of different gangs. Everybody wants to be the best gang. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Uh, no. I remember when the Bulldogs first split. It was always more of a a bulldog thing. Let's call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You know, it was always more of a bulldog thing or a Fresno thing. And, uh, yeah, it just seems somewhere along the lines, uh, Vato's lost their way, man. And now it's become a, a, a click thing or a street thing. You know what I mean? And. Well, yeah, you know, that, um, that's, that's, that's what I, you know, I don't, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with streets, but, you know, like I said, we don't got no, you don't know, uh, no actual shot callers to, to go out there and, uh, you know, tell these youngsters what to do because we want them to be themselves oh yeah you know? so see us i mean we're not for uh making somebody do something you know they either want to or they don't you know what i mean yeah most definitely uh another thing I, that's right bro another thing i wanted to talk to you about was I happened to uh, read a filter a while back, man, from a, a high-ranking uh, NF member, where he seems like he's trying to bring. He's in the feds, right? And it seems like he's trying to bring the the you know the Fresno car back into the fold, bro. What is your take on that? Where he's calling them the Fresno Primos, and uh, that there should have never been a split, so on and so forth. And there's even some places in the feds where bulldogs are functioning with Northerners, active Northerners. As well as Sureños. How, what's what's your take on that, bro? Is it free will or or is it something you can never see happening? What do you mean, the feds? Yeah, and the feds, bro. Or it's, yeah, well, and the, the feds, I mean, the feds is pretty much about California. You know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're short as it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're pretty much concentrated on California. Whoever's from California, hey, this is your car. That's pretty much how the faith works. Okay. Yeah, because... Uh, when, yeah, when it comes to... Uh, uh, yeah, now that's how faith works. Yeah, 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 because I see... I, mean? I, I, ha- I happened to lay eyes on this filter where it was... Uh, where the guy's trying to bring back the, the Bulldogs, calling them uh, Fresno Primos and... And as long as they've never spilt northern blood, they are to be embraced as, as a, you know, just trying to bring them back into the fold, not only in the feds, but period, you know? So I, I myself couldn't, can't see that happening just based on, man, there's already been too much animosity. It's been too many years. In, you know what I mean? But anything's possible, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but, uh, you know, me personally, I can't speak for anybody else. You know what I mean? But I agree with you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. You know, but, uh, yeah, man. You know, uh, the ones, like I said, you know, I'll, the ones who already passed away, it's, that's already done. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, what's done is done. You know, it's already water. You know, it's already, like I said, a lot has went on, man. There's been a lot of turmoil for so many years, man. I... Like, I myself, I'm stuck in the 90s, bro. I don't know about you, but I stay stuck in the 90s. So it's hard for me to let the the love go. Because, you know, right when I got to YA, bro, it was automatic love with Bulldog. I mean, we were all functioning under the same bandera. So. You have 60 seconds remaining. You know, it's all been love. Yep. Oh, most definitely. I'll call you back. Yes, sir. All right.